In this video, it's going to be about a basic PHP form in Bootstrap Studio. Okay, so right, this is it. Um, and this one is online, and this is just a demonstration. And it's a simple contact form that I made a while back. Okay, so I'll show you how it works. Just you put your name in, wherever, your email address, like so, and you can put your message in, hello. But, um, hello there. Okay. And I, if you just put send message. Okay. All right. It says, I seems a problem with the form. Please correct the errors. Please enter the checkbox. So, okay. We're going to put enter the checkbox there. Are you a robot? So send message now. Okay. All right. It says, thank you. I'll be in touch. Okay. Right. If we open up Bootstrap Studio. Okay. I will just put a div in. Um, this is probably the easiest, uh, you know, things are like divs are pretty easy to work with when it's a lot of it's uh, what I'm going to do with forms and that here. Okay, so right on this one here, okay, I've got the code for this, and this is the code here um, between the body, and that's all it is. It's just a few divs and um, breaks and stuff like that and the form is between that there's not a lot else in fact there's nothing else it's just the form I know in your pages it uh, might be different than that but this is the probably the best way to you know see how these things work and all uh, right okay just copy that okay so we'll go back into bootstrap studio we go to div okay and convert to HTML custom code and again like I've said many times before edit code right just wipe out the div here all right and then control V apply it okay and you're left with this thing here which is going to do absolutely nothing um, okay so you've got that now you've got your contact form as it is there's no style or not anything like that there okay so we'll go back to this right and the other important way of doing this is, I mean, there is style on this, but it's just really the color and, you know, about center and in the middle there. Okay, right. This is above the doc type. Okay. So usually on your doc type HTML here, there, HTML5, above that you'll put this, which is the PHP code. So it's actually all in one page. Whereas a few that I've done or spoke about have been on other pages, you know, two or three. If you notice on here, like I said in the other video about when somebody called us an idiot or retard or whatever it was. Um, right, well, for now, we just, uh, just go to export. Export options, okay, and we'll go down to the head. Head content there, right, and we're just going to put that in there. So what I'm, what I'm putting in there now... Is this above the doc type stuff okay so that's your PHP above the doc type so just again control V all right okay so save this right okay okay so um, yeah what I was saying about this well I'm just go in the bootstrap studio with the ass if if we look at this there is no JavaScript involved in this. And this is what I was saying in the last video about when you make PHP forms and JavaScript, you don't actually need to use JavaScript when you're doing contact forms. Um, some might do it, you know, uh, the next video I'm going to do on this series, little series I'm doing, I use JavaScript as well to validate this. Okay. All this is... I'll just go in and show you really, you know, all of that is just PHP. I'll just go a bit, show you a bit more. And this is just PHP code, okay? There's no JavaScript code. There's no validation in JavaScript. The validation is all in PHP, okay? Right, okay. So now I'm going to export this. And I've already done that, okay? So... I'll just show you where I'll put that. I've put this in an, a contact us um, folder. You can do whatever you want 
but when I've done that, it's index.html, okay? So now what you do, I would not recommend doing this um, like on your local server because local servers throw up a funny old thing with um, with contact forms and I don't think they work very well at all. So you really need a website to put this up so you can test it and do whatever you want, okay? When you put the contact us up, right, what you need to do, sorry if, that, if you can hear the phone there, um, is, all right, just give us a second there. Um, yeah, okay, public HTML, just, I'll show you this. So now I've put this up, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the contact us folder, okay, so right okay so now we're in there right and what you have to do i mean you can do it on the desktop or whenever but the when when you export and as you know as most of you will know when you've used the program it exports in index.ph um index.html you have to change that to php else it won't work okay so now what this looks like when it's up right okay so there's nothing fancy about this. It's not centered or anything like that. This is the very basic of a form, okay? But once you've got a form working or anything working, for that matter, well, the, the styling of things is, is the easy bit. But this, when it's like something like PHP, that is a difficult bit, okay? So now we just look at, pay, look at this as the PHP form and we just send a message, okay? So this, if I've done this right, won't work. Okay, so now we say, I'll just show you if you can't. Right, same problems with the form. Please correct the errors and enter your name. Please enter your email. Please enter the checkbox. Okay, so if we do all that, and I'm going to just put in myself as, uh, um, well, what, Mr. Apple Pie. Okay, your email, Apple Land, uh, Gmail. Dot com. I mean, I don't have a thing, you know, I don't have one of those email addresses. And I just say, hello, how, uh, how are you? Okay, right. Okay, so we've done that. And we're going to press the, the click of the checkbox there. Okay, now if I send the message now, okay, thank you, I will be in touch. That means that when you see this in PHP, um, you know, where it hasn't set, sent up the errors and stuff like that. That means it's uh, it's fair enough. It's done. It's worked. Right. So I'll show you my email address. Um, okay, I'll just go to Outlook, where this should go. And, right, the other thing that is important in this as well is, of course, this is going to my email address, okay? And what you... You know, you people will be thinking, well, I want it to my email address. It's not good. Here's, is it, really? So, anyway, so have a look at the junk email. Right, let's have a look on that loads up. Okay, so there you go. Now, right, name, Mr. Apple Pie. Okay, and that's it, really. And uh, so that's worked. And that's, that's what you do. And I know, th I know, like, this... Seems very easy, you know. Mr. Apple Pie, how are you from Apple and Gmail? Right, so it's PHP is for me, it's not an easy language, um, you know. So, when you know, when you when I, you see all this, it's actually, I mean, it might be what I don't know, I don't know how many lines of code it is, but including the head code, I'm not sure, but. You see, it's it's one of these things that's quite tricky. It's it's not so much difficult, but it's it's a little tricky. I mean, their words are synonymous, really. But anyway, <laughs> the um, what I'm meaning is like you, sometimes you make one mis one mistake or a, a dot out or a, you know whatever um, or a question mark in PHP, the whole thing goes um, pear shaped, you know. Right. So to get it go back to Bootstrap Studio, to get it to go where you want it to go, is we're going to go back into the head content, okay? Right, the head content here in Bootstrap Studio, where we put this, okay? So where it says mail there, I know this is not very 
large to see. So I'll just maybe show you on. If we go back here, nope, nope. Oh yes, right. Okay, so if we go here, where it says nbyman.hotmail.co.uk, right. That shows you, you, you can change that to wherever you want. So, you know, whatever your name is or whatever your email address is, you just put that there. So that's what you change and that should go to your email address. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, the, um, you know, the web address of this up, try it out for yourself. And, you know, I'll put the code um, in the description as well, okay? So I hope this has been of some value to you because I, I know, you know, I know this is uh, quite a, a thing for a lot of people. They want to know about um, PHP forms and stuff like that. And it it's a big part because it's, uh, you know, it gets to, uh, you know, you have interaction, don't you? But you don't need a database for any PHP contact forms as your email address is, is where it's going. So it's different to a login form. You know, okay, so again, thanks for watching. And uh, uh, some of you might have questions on this, so just get back to us, okay? So, again, thanks for watching and thanks for listening.